Okay, so in today's video we want to start to look at um, tangents and normals. So we've talked quite a lot about tangents in defining the gradient function and we should have an understanding of the tangent as being um, a straight line with the same gradient as the curve at that point. What we want to look at here is actually being able to find the equation of a tangent and we also want to be able to find the equation of the normal which is um, connected to the tangent. So um, a tangent is a straight line with the same gradient as the curve at the point of intersection with the curve. So if I've got a red curve y equals f of x, as you can see in this diagram here, this blue line drawn in here is the tangent to y equals f of x at p. And we know that um, the blue line and the red line will have the same gradient. That's the definition of the tangent. So same gradient as f of x at p. Okay. Now the normal, which is the green line, is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, So we know about perpendicular gradients. Okay, If we have perpendicular lines, oops, we know that if we have perpendicular lines, the gradient of one line is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the other line. Okay, um, And so we can also, once we know um, the gradient of the curve at the point, that gives us the gradient of the tangent at that point. Um, and then we can also use that gradient to find the gradient of the normal at that point. So gradient of the tangent um, to f of x at the point p, which has coordinates of a, f at a, is going to be equal to the derivative of f of x at a, okay, which is the x coordinate of that point. So same gradient as the curve at that point. The gradient to the normal, um, the gradient of the normal to f of x at um, the same point is just going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So negative 1 over the derivative of a. Okay. Alright, so then we're finding the equation of a straight line. So this is harking back right back to the start of year 11, certainly right back to that year 10 coordinate geometry stuff that we should know really well by now. So tangents and normals are straight lines. So once we have gradient and a point, and we will have a point because we will have this point on the curve, the point P, um, we can find the equation of the line. Now we can either use y equals mx plus c or we can use uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I tend to use this one all the time for finding equations of straight lines. You can also use mx plus c. Um, I'll do a couple of the examples in both ways so you can make a choice. Um, I just find that the yellow equation, I've just highlighted in yellow there, um, allows you to put your gradient and your point in to the equation and then it's just about rearranging to make y the subject. Whereas when you use y equals mx plus c, you have to put the gradient in, then you substitute the point in and solve for c and then you put c back into the equation. I just find um, there's sort of more steps. Although ultimately you'll find that the mathematics you have to do um, will actually be the same. It'll just happen in a slightly different way. So you know if you have to multiply two ugly fractions together using one of these forms, you'll do that same multiplication using the other form as well. Okay, it is possible to find the equation of a tangent or a normal with your CAS very, 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 very easily. And this is one of the things that I find that students forget repeatedly and they waste a lot of time in tech active exams um, and sections of tests um, by finding equations of tangents and normals by hand in a CAS section. It is literally something you should be able to write down. It won't ever be worth more than one mark in a SAC or an exam or a test. Okay. I'll, um, we'll have a look at that, how to do it, when as we work through some of the examples. So we'll perhaps verify our answers using the CAS just to show you. Okay, so let's work through some examples. So in this first video, I've called this Tangents and Normals Part 1. We're literally just going to look at the nuts and bolts of how to come up with the equation of the tangent. Um, the second video, um, the, the examples can get more complicated um, and a bit more interpretation required. Um, so we'll, we'll do those separately. Um, so example one, find the equations of the tangent and the normal. So we're going to find equation of a tangent and equation of the an equation of the normal to the curve f of x equals x cubed at the point where x equals two. Okay. So we're going to need. So you know, don't be afraid to draw diagrams. Don't be afraid to see what's happening. You know, you've got a cubic. When x equals two, we know that's going to be two eight. We're trying to find the equation of the tangent, which is clearly going to have a pretty big positive gradient. And we're going to find the equation of the normal, which is probably going to have a pretty small negative gradient. Okay, So, you know, have a think about what you're doing. Be clear about what's happening. Okay, so um, we're obviously going to need the point. So I already did that in my head. But we're going to need to know the y value when x equals 2, because we will need a point for our equation of our line. So that's 2 cubed, which is 8. 
and so therefore the point that both of these lines are going to go through is the point 28. We're going to need that. So if you're only given the x coordinate of the point, you'll need to find the y coordinate. That's a key thing. We also need to know the gradient of the curve at that point. So we want the derivative, which we know is 3x squared. We want to know what the derivative is when x equals 2. So that's 3 times 2 squared, and so that would be 12. So that gives you your gradient of your tangent. Okay. And that then also implies that the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of that. Okay, so now we've got our point, gradient of the tangent, gradient of the normal. So we've got information we need to find the two equations. Okay, let's find the equation of the tangent first. As I said, I prefer to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that is where m is the gradient. Okay, and, oops, sorry, m is the gradient and x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the point. Okay, so we're going to have y minus 8 equals gradient, which for the tangent is 12, times x minus 2, which is the x coordinate. And then it's just about expand the brackets on the right-hand side and add 8 to get y on its own. So y minus 8 is 12x minus 24. And so y is equal to 12x, negative 24 plus 8 is going to be negative 16. So that's the equation of the tangent. So we said big positive gradient. Yes, that makes sense. Makes sense that it's got a reasonably big negative y-intercept as well, given my rough sketch. So I'm happy with that. Okay, equation of the normal. Um, the other thing I'll say, and I'll repeat this um, later, it's really important when you're finding an equation of a tangent, it must be an equation. So you can't just write down 12x minus 16. It has to be y equals 12x minus 16. It also isn't tangent equals. The equation of the tangent is y equals something. Okay, So be really clear about how you write things down. That becomes a bigger issue if it's a tech active and you're using your CAS. Students tend to leave out the y equals. Um, it was mentioned in an examiner's report two years ago with VCAA. So it's something you want to get right now and not be making mistakes within your exams. Um, okay, so the equation of the normal, I'm going to use the same y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That formula is simply just a rearrangement of the gradient formula, you know, rise over run, rearranged. Um, so I'm going to put my point and my gradient into the equation. So the point is still the same, y minus 8. Gradient for the normal though is different. It's negative 1 twelfth times x minus 2. All right, again, let's expand out the right-hand side. So that's negative 1 twelfth x plus 2 twelfths, which is 1 sixth. And then so y is going to be negative 1 twelfth x plus 1 sixth, sorry, and plus 8. So that is negative 1 twelfth x. Um, 8 is 48 sixths plus 1 sixth, so 49 sixths. And that's my equation of the normal. So again, we talked about small negative gradient. Yes, that matches. Um, it also makes sense that the um, y-intercept of that line is higher than 8. It's only a little bit higher than 8 because of the small gradient. So everything about that makes sense. Let's confirm the answers using our CAS. So um, menu, 4 for calculus, 9 for tangent line to do the tangent equation. And you need to give the CAS um, the function, so f of x is x cubed in this case, but you don't put any equal to, so you don't write y equals x cubed or f of x equals x cubed, you literally just write x cubed. So if you've defined f of x as x as e being equal to x cubed, you can just type f of x in there. Um, and then comma, and then you need to tell it where you want to find the tangent, and it will be x equals a value, so x equals 2. So we want to find the tangent to x cubed when x is equal to 2. And we indeed get 12x minus 16, which is what we found. So you see how it just gives you the expression there. So it's really important if you're being asked to find the equation of a tangent that you write down an equation. So y equals 12x minus 16 when you write it on the paper. Normal line, so menu 4 and uh, option A in the menu is normal line. Um, and it'll be the same information. So we want to find the normal to x cubed, comma, when x is equal to 2. And we find that it is indeed, it's obviously written the other way around, but negative x on 12, which is negative 1 12th x plus 49 on 6. Great, we're correct. Okay, example 2. Find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals 3 minus 4x squared at the point where x equals 3. Okay, so we first need the point. Okay, so when x is equal to 3, we know y is going to be equal to 3 minus 4 times 3 squared. 
So that's 3 minus 4 times 9. That's 3 minus 36, which is negative 33. Okay, so the point is 3, negative 33. So we're going to need that. Um, and then we also need to know um, the gradient of the normal. So we need the gradient of the tangent before we can find gradient of the normal. So we need the derivative first. Okay, so we know that dy dx is going to be equal to uh, negative 8x. Okay, and so then when x is equal to 3, we know that dy dx is going to be equal to negative 8 times 3, which is negative 24. So that's the gradient of the tangent which means that the gradient of the normal is going to be equal to negative 1 on 24. Okay, so we've got our point and our gradient. I might do it the two different ways here. So um, I prefer personally y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. As I said, I like that it lets me put gradient and point straight into the equation at the first line. So I wouldn't normally write this out, I'd just do it. Um, so y minus minus 33, so that's y plus 33, equals my gradient is negative 20, 1 on 24, x minus 3. Expand out your right-hand side, so it's negative 1 on 24. So negative 1 on 24 times negative 3 will be positive 3 on 24, which simplifies to, sorry, 1 on 8. Oops, sorry, I lost my x. Plus 1 on 8. And then we're going to have y being equal to negative 1 on 24x plus 1 eighth plus 33. Uh, so 33 is how many eighths? Uh, 30 times 8 is 240 plus 3 times 8 which is 24 so that should be 264. 8 lots of 33. So it is minus 1 on 24x plus 1 on 8 plus what did I just say? 264 on 8. Okay. Um, and so then that means that y is equal to negative 1 on 24x plus 265 on 8 is my equation. The other way you could do it is to use y equals mx plus c. Um, I just find you can only substitute m into that equation first. So you get y equals negative 1 on 24x plus c. And then separately once you've done that you sub your point in which means you get negative 33 equals negative 1 on, oops, 1 on 24 times 3 plus c. So negative 33 equals um, negative 1 eighth plus c. And so then c is, I'm adding 1 eighth, 1 eighth minus 33. Ah, sorry, I made a mistake in my previous one. Let's just fix it. Um, so when I, sub I should have subtracted 33. So um, from the here to here, should minus 33 from both sides and so it's 1 8 minus 264 on 8 and so that means it's negative 263 on 8. And so you'll see as I said you're going to do the same maths here we were doing 1 8 minus 33 that's what you end up doing here as well okay so we've already done the nuts and bolts for that but what I'm saying is you don't avoid if the fraction work is not very fun you don't avoid that by doing it a different way using a different method. Um, Okay, so that's a value of c, and so therefore y is going to be um, negative 1 on 24x minus 263 on 8. Right, let's just check with our CAS that that was correct. So we're finding a normal line, menu 4a. The equation we want to find the normal to is equal to 3 minus 4x squared, and then we want to find the normal, oops, sorry, comma, when x is equal to 3. Hmm, I was right. What have I done? No, I've got the negatives wrong. Ah, right. <laughs> Not my day, is it? The gradient of the tangent was negative 24. The normal is the negative reciprocal, so that's positive 24. Okay, so uh, let's just see where we're at here. So that means positive 24. So when you expand this bracket out, it'll be plus 24 minus 1 8. So we're subtracting 1 8. We're subtracting 1 8, which means we do still get so negative 1 8 minus 264. So that's minus 265. Okay. And same thing here. Positive 24. 1 on 24 is the gradient. Positive 1 on 24 is the gradient. So that's positive 1 8. 
eighths. So it's minus one eighth minus thirty three. So it is minus two sixty five. So we should have positive one hundred twenty four and minus two hundred and sixty five and eight, uh, which is correct. All right, example three. Consider the curve y equals 4x squared minus 2x plus 1, so a quadratic. At what point is the gradient of the curve equal to 6? Okay, so gradient equal to 6 means that we want dy dx to equal 6. So let's find dy dx first. It's going to be 8x minus 2, and that's equal to 6. So 8x equals 8, and so x is equal to 1. We want the coordinates of the point, at what point, um, so that implies a, a point is involves two coordinates. Um, so then we want to substitute x equals 1 back into our equation for y, so we can find what does y equal when x equals 1. So it is 4 minus 2 plus 1, and so that's 3. And so therefore we get a gradient of 6 at the point 1, 3. Part B, what is the equation of the normal to the curve at this point? Okay, so we've got the point. We, we want to find the equation of the normal, so we're going to need the gradient at this point and then use that to find the gradient of the normal. So we already know that dy dx is um, 8x minus 2, so we've done that. So we now want to know, oh, we already know when x equals 1, dy dx is 6. We already know that from part A. Okay, gradient is 6. So that means the gradient of the normal at this point is going to be negative one sixth. Okay, and so then we've got um, the point and the gradient. Okay, so again, you can either use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, whoops, or you can use y equals mx plus c. So um, you're going to put the point in here. I'm going to put the gradient in both of these. Okay, so it is y minus um, 3 is equal to gradient is negative 1 sixth x minus 1, or in this case it would be y equals negative 1 sixth x plus c, and then we can sub in the point to find c, and so we get 3 equals negative 1 sixth times 1 plus c. Alright, so we expand out the brackets in the one on the left hand side. Um, so it's negative one sixth x plus one sixth, and then we add three, and three is eighteen sixths. So one sixth plus eighteen sixths is sixths. Sorry, is nineteen sixths. All right. Again, same maths over here. So this gives you three equals negative one sixth plus c. So c is three plus a sixth, which is eighteen plus one sixth. So nineteen sixths, and so therefore you get the same equation. And you don't have to do it both ways, just one or the other. Um, let's just check that that answer is right. So menu for A for normal line. Um, it is the normal to, what was the function again? 4x squared uh, minus 2x plus 1, comma when x is equal to 1. And so we indeed get uh, negative x on 6, so that's negative 1, 6x plus 19 on 6. Okay, so the work today is from a worksheet just finding some equations of tangents and normals.